Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi. This is not a drill. Maxi 6 just came out on JPO. Did I say that right? JPO, Japan Arcade Entertainment Expedition. JPO, yeah, JPO 2018. And the pics have already been leaked out in the internet, my friends. Twitter, Facebook. Well, actually, there was this one website. I believe it is called Game Watch. Game Watch has already covered the JPO three day. Amusement Entertainment Expo and apparently Maxi 6 is one of the boots handled by Bandai Namco themselves. Woo! I really can't believe that we're actually getting this soon. Well, technically the Japanese are and this is just a teaser. And this was just out for like um, roughly three days if I'm right. I kind of didn't repeat myself just now. Anyway, what we can see here are lots of really good pictures and we're actually going to analyze them one by one. I know this is everything this is going to be in Japan. Miyogi, we're not getting this yet. Why are you so excited? Apparently it's because I am and I can. <laughs> anyway, looking down on the list, we've seen that there will be huge changes into the racing game that we all know, love, and hate. And that is just an understatement, my friends. So if we can actually look closely into the machines, they feel almost not so different from the Maxi 4 and 5 cabinets. The LED lights have already been converted to orange, so I believe it was synonymous to the number 6 on the logo design, which, I, which is what I really love by the way. I mean, I really love the techno, very geometrical lining on the number 6 there, well in contrast to number 5, and it's like everything is circuit bounded. We'll get onto that probably sooner next time. If you have your own theories, do post in the comments below. And this is one of the most biggest things that we have seen thus far. 1 versus 3, Ghost Battle. Yes, Ghost Battle 4-way. I can't believe this is happening. Well, for Japan, it's gonna be inter-prefectural. It's really a game changer for this one, guys. And I'm not saying it just because I am part of a college that says game changer a lot. Moving on further into the list, I mean, all of this we're taking parts of <laughs> BBS, my friends. Yes, BBS is finally coming into the tuning. You know what this means? I can finally complete Tomo's R34. All around me are familiar like Miyogi, remember. You cannot complete Tomo's R34 unless you have the Carbon Hood Archer. Stop reminding me, okay? I can never complete it. Well, on the off chance, for those who actually want to do a full Reyna Blackbird build, you can officially do it right now. So just simply put Arrow C, the BBS rims with gold. And same goes with Blackbird's Porsche 911 with the Blackbird kit. Arrow D on the RUFCTR. And BAM! Woo! That's actually quite a mouthful for a quick tuning guy there. <laughs> Last week and weeks before, you have all seen the promotional picture of Porsche coming into the lineup. What does that say about the future of RUF? I mean, yes, we've seen the conversion. Gembala to RUF. Are we going to see RUF to Porsche? Or are they going to be retained? Well, according to what I see here on the translations of JPO, they did say that Porsche would be a new maker. So they may coexist with RUF. That's what I'm thinking, but there are other theories saying that some cars done by RUF will be replaced by Porsche. I don't know. What is your take on that one? Would you like to see the RUF RT35 be converted into the Porsche 911 Turbo? If that is what you think of it, well, feel free to post in the comments below. I am not stopping you. Though this will raise an argument about the RUFCTR and the Porsche 930 Turbo. But then again, Toyota and Subaru had that kind of conflict which they didn't have a problem about, so probably Porsche won't have a problem either with Ruff. Well, we'll see, but we'll tackle that one a little bit further down the line later. As you can see there, the wonderful, yes, that is a 911 Turbo. I actually haven't seen this much lately. Well, maybe because a certain. Um, Group of fanboys are overpraising the GT3 RS. Well, sorry. Well, for me, it's 911 24 7. And you can see there at the back what seems to be a Porsche Cayman. Yes, the Cayman. That is another debatable car. Are we going to retain the RK and the Cayman at the same time? I mean, look, the generations are different, so there's a possibility. Again, if you have a different take on that, well, feel free to post in the comments. I read them every day despite my hectic work schedule. That's how much I love you guys. No homo to males, girls full hetero. 
And this was another announcement, which was very official. So we got the 911 Turbo West, which is the 991 chassis, by the way, and the 718 Cayman S. Now, next to that one is the 911 930 Turbo S, but this one is a surprise. We never got this info until day three. Day three shows us the 911 964 Turbo 3.6. What does that constitute to the RUFs? That actually constitutes to the roof RCT. Now, that's another thing. Maybe that is one of the cars that would have a huge conversion and I don't know if it is still official. Again, this is all speculations here, guys. And I know this next part is what you're gonna love and hate at the same time. For a story writer as myself, I am going to love this, but definitely it's gonna put a huge gaping hole in my already non-existent amount in my wallet. Story mode has been expanded again. I can hear a lot of players shouting right now in the mountains. They may go something like... Yes. That is the same exact feeling, or more like the same exact song or scene that I picture right now, thanks to this new update. So, the four missing arcs back in 3DX Plus are now returning. We're looking at Garage Ace, we're looking at Legendary F1 Turbine, we're looking at the Yuji Kishida arc, I think it's Zero for the Roads? It's actually my least favorite among those, and FD Master! This is one art that I'm officially quite livid about, and for obvious reasons. Well, yes, I am a GTR fanboy, especially the R34. So that actually constitutes to me hating on the RX-7 for good reasons. But I actually do have a respect for cars like that, but why must it have to- Continuing on, so yeah, there's up to 830, going up to 840. And as you can see in the picture, it says 40, so yes, 40 new chapters. I wonder how this is going to play out for the Yuji Kishida art. Unless we're going to have a longer expansion of um, FD Master Story. Or maybe, this is just speculation here guys, another speculation. What if some of the story chapters here, instead of 10, drops to 5? But I doubt it would happen to Garage Ace. I doubt that would happen to Legendary F1 Turbine. Then again, I could see it possibly happen to Legendary F1 Turbine. But nah, I take it back. It won't. Yuji Kishida's arc, yes, there is a possibility of that retaining on 5. And maybe Ogishima, another 5 as well. You know what I actually want to see? C1 Runner be part of the game. If you haven't known, Wangan Midnight C1 Runner is the sequel to Wangan Midnight itself. And the story focuses on Og Shinji Ogishima himself, the YFD. That makes me think. Because if you know what happened in Drift Spirits, Ogishima's original FD was blue. What did we get in 3DX Plus? White. I am quite confused right now. We'll see how Namco plays about on that gamble. And just a little shout out to those in Japan right now who haven't gone to JPO. Maxi 5DX Plus says farewell event, more like its last tournament or first tournament for 2018. While Maxi 6 is still in production, there's gonna be a tournament going on on March 24 up to May 27. I think this is a final OCM. And it seems to me that it's gonna be happening on C1 and the top players, it doesn't say here yet how many of them would be winning themselves the S2000 Type S. And what I unfortunately heard that it's going to be a Maxi.net exclusive. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Unfortunately, it means for my story, we won't be able to make or see Ryu and Kenichi, my best, one of my two best friends in the whole wide world. We won't be able to see Ryu and Kenichi come to life in Maximum Tune ever. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. But let's go to the nitty gritty of it, which is the cars themselves, besides the Porsches. We are done with the Porsche, okay? We are done with it. What I want to tackle right now are the existing cars. 
and apparently as I've seen on some videos on uh, actually just literally just a video and the multiple screenshots these are the following cars that were confirmed to have new dress up parts so we are seeing the RX-7, the Camaro SSRS, the 370Z and the BRZ and in another video I think I saw a GT86 right there the RX-8 as what we've seen in one video and the Nissan R32 where I was fanboying over the BBS rims coming into the game. The RX-7 though is one of my key favorites among the new ones on the list. That arrow kit is just so magnificently hot. I know, I'm betraying my own fandom. <laughs> And this may come as an extra surprise, so we may not be getting the S2000, but there may be, just two speculations here guys, we may get another Honda into the mix, or in this case, a character exclusive car, which, may, which is just an NPC, the Honda. DC2 Integra Type R. If you don't, if you're questioning why does a front wheel drive exist, I thought we cannot have front wheel drives. Well, maybe that's something that might change. The reason behind the DC2 coming out into the game is the fact that Tomoya, the backstory of Garage Ace, is that Tomoya was known to be the R killer. He uses an Integra to kill GTRs. Until he met Jen Goro, who kind of schooled him in the ways of the skyline. Who is way bigger than Nakazato, if I may ask. And right now we're seeing the official car color list for the three Porsches. So we have the 718 Cayman available in teal, red, yellow, white, silver, black, 6-speed MR. The 911 Turbo S which is available in black, another black but I'm, I digress, it's black. Pine green, yellow, silver, red, and white with 5 speeds still retaining the RR just like the roof CTR. And then there is this man, this monster right here, which is not a GT3 RS, thank my god. It is four-wheel drive and it has seven speed. Now, it really it pushes my possibility or theory that the uh, RT35 will be replaced with a new physics engine. Maybe the same as that of the Aventador, but we shall see. And it kinda houses the same colors as that of the Cayman. Apparently, I think that's everything that I like to talk about when it comes to this. So, be sure, if you have any theories of your own, post it in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them. Let's see if we if it coincides or it debunks. Don't forget to like this video for more. I'll be seeing more announcements of Maxi 6. If it, do, if it does, I will post it on the channel. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.